What is up guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure you check the link down below. It shows you an interactive map on all the places that I've made videos on so far. All you have to do is click on the link to the map and then you can click on a pin which will take you to a link of said place. In this video, I'm going to be driving through a trio of Rockford suburbs just north of the city. In fact, some of these places are going to be even closer to Wisconsin than they are to Rockford itself. Well, let's get to it, shall we? All right, that's good enough. In this video, I drive through three different cities, Machesney Park, Roscoe, and Rockton. I would actually say that Roscoe and Rockton are the more interesting cities, and Machesney Park is more so just a suburban blob on the map. Roscoe has some pretty cool people from it, and Rockton is the only one of the three that has anything that resembles a traditional town. There will be some boring stretches in this video, but lucky for you, I keep timestamps down below so that you can always skip to the part that you might want to see. I started the video at Martin Park in the city of Loves Park, which is just south of Machesney Park. I already made a video on Loves Park, and if you haven't seen that video, you should head towards my Rockford playlist and check it out. If you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoy this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places such as what you see here can be found in my Rockford playlist or in my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. Hot. I thought that this video was supposed to be on Machesney Park, Roscoe, and Rockton, yet the first two minutes of this video is you lollygagging around in Love's Park. What an awful video. Whoa, uh, my, my bad, dude. I'll buy you a scratch and sniff to make you feel better. You are correct, though. I don't get to Machesney Park until after a few minutes pass by in the video. I'm here now, though and Machesney Park is home to an estimated 22,600 people, which is slightly down from a 2010 peak population of 23,500, or down a rate of negative 3.5%. The median household income is $63,600 per year, and the poverty rate is 7.5%. 15% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $120,000. Niche.com gives the public schools in Machesney Park a B-, and the crime rates are below average. Machesney Park is another decent suburb of Rockford, almost identical to that of the neighboring Loves Park to the south. In fact, the two suburbs are so identical that they both share the Harlem Consolidated School District. Combined, the two suburbs support a population of nearly 50,000, but the school district has only one middle school and one high school. We'll pass by both in this video. Some of you may be wondering what's with the name of Harlem being tossed around in these parts. Before Machesney Park and Loves Park and Roscoe became cities, there was Harlem Township. The township consists of everything within Winnebago County that's north of Windsor Road, east of the Rock River, and south of an imaginary east-west line that goes through Roscoe. All of Machesney Park is within Harlem Township, while parts of Loves Park are within, along with parts of Roscoe, which we'll head towards later in the video.
There's not too many negatives about McChesney Park or the other suburbs that I pass through later on. Mostly all of the areas that you see in this video offer a pretty good quality of life. It's mostly middle class suburbia. The home prices are low here too, as the Rockford area as a whole continues to struggle economically. Roscoe and Rockton further north and towards the end of this video are home to a higher percentage of rich people, whereas McChesney Park and Loves Park are more so middle class. In 1981, McChesney Park incorporated as a village. Before that, it was suburban sprawl and the area within Harlem Township that is today known as McChesney Park was then known as North Park. The name McChesney Park comes from an earlier settler named Fred McChesney who flew planes before it was cool basically. Fred McChesney founded the McChesney Airport which opened in 1927 and closed in 1974. The McChesney Airport once served as Rockford's main airport until the larger airport airport was built on the extreme south end of Rockford. Today the mostly empty McChesney Park Mall sits on the land that the airport once occupied. We'll get to the mall later in the video. Speaking of aviation, to the left is a facility that is owned by Woodward Inc., a company that helps make aircraft engines. Dang, that was a short light. Are all of your lights this short? Love's Park? That's a common cause for accidents, you know. Ain't nobody got time for that! Next, we head towards Harlem Middle School.
To the left is Harlem Middle School, shared by both Loves Park and McChesney Park. Next, I head towards the McChesney Park Mall, or the McChesney Town Center, as that's what they want you to call it today. Nice view of the Rock River out this way. Back in 2019, a major flood came through and caused major damage to the homes along this particular stretch of the river. From what I looked up online, it happens often over here, while the opposite side of the river doesn't seem to flood as bad.
This is the McChesney Park Mall, or the McChesney Town Center. I mentioned this earlier when talking about some other things, but I'll mention it again as it's relevant. The mall was built on land that once served as the McChesney Airport, which became unused as a larger airport was built on the south side of Rockford. The name comes from a local settler, Fred McChesney, who founded the airport, which closed in 1974. The mall opened in 1978 and closed in 2003. Since then, there have been several stores that have opened up along the sides of the former mall, but the interior of the mall remains closed and is in need of major repair. It's likely that this structure gets torn down in the future. Next, I head towards Harlem High School and the other parts of McChesney Park that I haven't yet been through.
To the right is Harlem High School, home of the Huskies. The school enrolls around 1,500 students. Among the most well-known alumni is Robin Zander, the lead singer of Cheap Trick, and Riley Walker, who is another successful musician, who actually is not and never was a member of Cheap Trick. What a surprise. Out this way, it looks like you have plenty of amenities. If you're watching this video six months after the original upload date and you just got done watching the Bears lose, again, in which you ended up punching a hole in the wall, you're in luck if you live in McChesney Park, or so it seems, as it seems like you can find all of the supplies to repair the damages and more right in this neck of the woods. In all honesty though, I actually think the Bears have a good chance at winning the NFC North next year. We'll see. Out this way, there's not too much to look at. Depending on how the area trends in the future, it seems like 10 years from now, you might see this land entirely filled up with cookie cutter subdivisions, like the one that's up ahead. As there isn't too much to see, I do speed up the video more than I normally do in order to cut down on time. I'll slow it back down once we're out of the rural setting. Thank you. 
We entered the official city limits of Roscoe a while back, but it's only just now starting to look like it. Roscoe is home to 10,500 residents, which is down slightly from a 2010 peak population of 10,700. The median household income here is $92,000 per year, making it the wealthiest community in the Rockford metropolitan area. The poverty rate is a low 4%. 35% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $163,000. That's a pretty low number for a community with such a high median household income. Niche.com gives the public schools here an A, which is the highest grade we've seen out of all of the places that I've been through in the Rockford area. Roscoe actually shares its school district with nearby Rockton, just like how McChesney Park and Loves Park share one. The crime rates in Roscoe are basically non-existent. There's a couple of interesting things about Roscoe. ESPN's Nicole Briscoe is from here, and former IndyCar driver Danica Patrick grew up here. There's also a museum off of Highway 251 that holds all sorts of fascinating things. The owner of the museum has an interest in John F. Kennedy, and there are several items in the museum that were once owned by JFK. Additionally, you also have the flag that was draped over Kennedy's casket. Just like the other suburbs of McChesney Park and Loves Park, Roscoe wasn't incorporated as a village until the 1960s. The place mostly exists because of the primary cities of Rockford and Beloit nearby. Even though Roscoe is a part of the Rockford metropolitan area, it is closer to downtown Beloit than it is to downtown Rockford. Seems like a place that offers a pretty good quality of life, however, if you're looking to move to the area. The city's website says that Roscoe and the state line area is among the fastest growing areas in Winnebago County. Sorry, Roscoe. But that stopped being true about 10 years ago, as nowhere in Winnebago County is currently growing. Slowest shrinking, maybe? It is a nice little community, I'll give you that.
We have now left the city limits of Roscoe and we are now in Rockton. Rockton is home to 7,400 residents and the median household income is $90,000 per year. The poverty rate is 5%. 33% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $172,000. Niche.com gives the public schools here an A, which makes sense as Roscoe also receives an A, and for the most part, they both share the same school district. The crime rates in Rockton are pretty much non-existent. To the right is Hananiga High School, home of the Indians. Among the most well-known alumni is ESPN reporter Nicole Briscoe, gold medal figure skater Scott Hamilton, UFC fighter Corey Anderson, and of course, former IndyCar and NASCAR driver Danica Patrick. The name Hananiga comes from the name of the first white settler's wife in the Rockton area. Stephen Mack Jr. was the name of the settler who came from Detroit. Hananiga was a Native American woman from one of the local tribes. Mack founded the town originally called Pecatonica on the west side of the Rock River, which was later named to Mack Town. Another village called Rockton was built on the east side of the Rock River. The bridge connecting Mactown and Rockton was swept away by floodwaters in 1851, and eventually everyone from Mactown came over to Rockton. Today, Mactown still exists on the west side of the Rock River as an outdoor museum. To the left is not the natural path of the Rock River, but it's a canal that was man-made. And off of the canal is a dam upstream and a hydro plant downstream. The natural course of the Rock River is about a half mile west.
Up ahead, I do end the video at the local Walmart. What can I say? I started to get bored after a while and I needed some entertainment. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like what you saw in this video can be found in my Rockford playlist or in my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!